प्रतिपलसटाई मे සමගියෙන් සාමයෙන් උනුන් සමග මනාව මිශ්‍ර වෙමින් තම සංස්කෘතික අනන්‍යතාවයන් රැක ගැනීමට රාජ්‍ය මට්ටමේ අනුග්‍රහය සහ ආශිර්වාදයද ලබා ගන්නා වික්ටෝරියානු වැසියන් ඔවුන්ට ආවේණික සංස්කෘතිකාංග ප්‍රදර්ශනය කිරීම උදෙසා කුඩා සංස්කෘතික හමු පැවැත්වීම මෙල්බන් නගරයේ සුලබ දර්ශනයක් Hi I'm Manshi and I'm the uh, festival director here at FT Events putting together the African Festival at Greenwich Market This is the third year that we're running the event, and the, um, it's just all about bringing food, community, culture, and music together. Um, it's a space for people to come and enjoy themselves, get connected to the community and the culture, have a great feed, dance, um, get in, interactive with the drumming, um, and essentially have a really good time. That's all that this is about. So it's really fantastic to come back to the Victoria Market with the African Festival. We were here in April when we did the Sri Lankan Festival. So um, it's really about bringing the culture and the community together. We're really lucky that in Melbourne we've got so many different nationalities. In the city of Melbourne alone, there's over 10,000 people um, of uh, of African heritage. So uh, to be able to facilitate something like this, where you get flavors from. Senegal, you've got jerk uh, chicken, you've got flavors from South Africa. Same with the arts, crafts, and West African drumming. Really, it's all about bringing this together, and it's about um, also reminding people that Africa is a continent and not a country. And so, it's made up of lots of different countries, and trying to blend all of these flavors, cultures, cuisines together um, is really a, a really great pleasure. An Sanskritin dekabala keni mat pamanak no. नवतम वेलदुलाव निर्माण कर गणिम खदिवास्ताव प्रिकाणु संभव अति आय सी एम आयुक्त वलदी वर्ण सद लबादी सुशेषी तेनाक मे एक I'm originally from Chile, so I migrated to Australia myself. But I've lived in Ghana for about two years, over four years, and I have uh, quite a big involvement with the Ghanaian community. I'm also in, um, uh, married to a Ghanaian. So yeah, so basically, my store is really to share about the culture, the Ghanaian culture, because I'm finding that people, while they love the fabrics, the jewelry. music the culture there's not much of a, an understanding behind and there's a lot of stories a lot of symbolism um there's a whole lot of history behind a lot of the fabrics and while a lot of people uh notice they identify the african fabrics for instance um they don't know that there's a story behind it yeah. and they're symbolic and the colors are symbolic so they actually have meaning and they signify a, a certain period within in which the fabric is made or it's about a commentary about the society so here so here we've got like we've got this kente which is a hand woven kente and and it's and it actually kente is um a fonte it's a fonte uh made for uh spider web and basically it's simple each of the patterns symbolizes different things so um so in this in this instance it means life is not a straight path 
but you also have the colours as well. So the colours actually have a different meaning as well. So black is, is about spirituality, it's a maturity colour, it's about the people and things like that. So when you look at the fabric and when you're wearing it, it's telling you something about the person or the event or something like that. Now, back then it was a very prestigious um, thing, so only the, the, uh, the basically the superior uh, class, for instance, the royal family or the chiefs would actually wear them. But now everyone wears them, um, but it's still worn in special occasions like weddings, ceremonial, ceremonial events, something that's quite significant. So it is quite expensive because it's all handmade, so it takes a long time. We've been having um, a fantastic couple of days here at the market. We've had um, um, we've had people from the city of Melbourne. We had the deputy um, mayor of the city of Melbourne, uh, Nicholas Reese, here to open the festival, um, and we had lots of lovely performances that we had from One Spirit Africa from Sonic Waves, who is from Mauritius. We had some dance crews um, here, as well as, um, you know, it, and uh, lots of other entertainment, really showcasing people from the continent, the culture, and how they are keeping it alive and um, sharing it with people here in Melbourne. I think this festival has such a great vibe. Nobody's shy about getting up and dancing with everyone, and nobody's shy about getting um, involved with the drums and doing activities, which is really um, such a pleasure to watch because they're really immersing themselves in the event, in the festival, in the culture, um, and having a really good time. It's all about the community represented through the different businesses here. We're just a facilitator. Um, we're just making the platform so that all of the different um, cultures can come together. Uh, my name is Roderick Grant. Yep. I own and operate the company called Bossman Food and we've got multiple brands on the name and the Real Jerk Food Truck is one of them. Yeah and tell us about this festival. Every year are you participating in this one? I have done this festival for quite some time now, so several years running, and uh, it's always a brilliant festival, lots of families, uh, lots of activities for the kids, lots of music and some good food. I've read that apparently with the young children, they were 
I don't have the bauxite, but there's this rock called bauxite rock, and it's brown, and it's a protection, so they would wear it around the Millie. around the, um, the waist to protect the children, the young children, because they're innocent, they're, they haven't quite developed their personalities and their strengths. So, so I, I can see some uh, shelves, or are there shelves? Uh, shelves? This? Uh, no, this one. Okay, yep. Yeah. So this is shell. This is actually a bone. This is not shell. This is actually ah. a bone. So sometimes they use the bone from the calf. Oh, okay. Yeah, so from cow bone. And not so, much, not so much giraffes and that sort of thing. I mean, not giraffes, um, elephants, because that's protection. So it's actually illegal to use the husks. Yeah. So a lot of the bone stuff is used by the cattle. Okay. Yeah. Um, and silver also, right? And, and sorry? You can see silverish stuff? Oh, uh, yep, yep, yep. And there's silver as well. I mean, this is more modern. This is more of a modern, um, it's not so much traditional. It's, it's I guess, a reflection of where, you, where we have progressed. Um, for us, I mean, my, my, my specialty is Jamaican food. Uh, but of course, the African influence is pretty deeply rooted in our cuisine. Mm -hmm. So from, you know, back in the day when uh, the, the slaves were brought to Jamaica from West Africa and other parts of the, um, Africa, uh, they brought all the spices, uh, the style of cooking, and um, that kind of spread throughout the Caribbean. Uh, so yeah, for us, the food is, uh, you know, it's all about flavor. Um, Australian people are very spoiled for choice when it comes to food, but they definitely understand flavor and, um, and here they're open to try many different things. Yeah. Uh, so there's a stage, um, there's Roman entertainment, they've got lots of entertainment on the stage from singers to drummers to dance classes. Um, it's a full cultural experience when you come to a festival like this, so it's not just about the food. So I mean, if I'm representing my side of the the, the, the whole thing um, is, you know, the jerk chicken. That's what we specialize in, Jamaican food. Um, but, you know, if you wanted some real grounded African food, you want to go for like the jollof rice and things like that. Yeah. So this is, this is actually traditional um, batakari. It's called batakari. Batakari? Batakari. Batakari. people learning about each other's culture, respecting each other's culture and um, learning and blending and, and taking away a good time from it. Yeah, thank you very much once again. Yeah.
දැවන්ත මහත් ද්වීපයක් පුරා මානව ශිෂ්ටාචාරයේ ආරම්භය තෙක් දිවෙන මහා සංස්කෘතියක රෝගුණ දකින්නට මිනිත්තු කිහිපයකදී වෑයම් දැරීම නිශ්බල ක්‍රියාවක්. නමුත් සෙසු ජාතීන් සමග මනාව මුසුවෙමි සමගියෙන් සාමයෙන් තම අනන්‍යතාව සැමට පෙන්වා දීමට ඕන් දරු මහන්සිය වාර්තා කිරීමට අපට අවස්ථාව ලැබීම අපේ භාග්‍යයක්. අපි තවත් දිනක මේ බඳු අපූරු සංස්කෘතියක සටහන් සොයා යන ගමනේදී නැවත හමු වෙමු. SLTV නිෂ්පාදනයක්